Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a Power One Aurora Inverter, or it could be called an ABB Aurora Inverter as well. And we have a look at the screen on this one. It's coming up with, on one of the screens, the Inverter OK screen, battery low. So uh, you can see it, so, well, it says Inverter OK and the green light's on, so the inverter is actually working just fine. It just means that the battery inside the inverter, which keeps the time and, and date up to date, keeps that ticking over, uh, has, has failed or it is, it's low and is not working anymore. So the time and date stamp on any monitoring or any data on your system won't be correct because the battery has failed. It's not keeping the right time anymore. So what we need to do to replace this battery, which has failed, is you'll need a new one of these uh, little button batteries. It's a three volt CR2032. And you'll also need a T20 Torx bit to loosen these four screws on the inverter. And I recommend a pair of long nose pliers as well just to pull the battery out. So the first thing we need to do is turn the system off. And it's always important you follow the shutdown procedure when you do that, which is something like this. Turn off the solar supply main switch. There'll be a switch located in your switchboard or the inverter AC isolator. In our case, we've got an inverter AC isolator here, so we're just gonna throw that one off. And then we turn off the PVRA DC isolator located at the inverter. So that's up here in our case, PVRA DC isolator, throw that off, and then we wait for the system to go blank. Just while I'm waiting, I'm going to start opening up the cover here. All right, so we can see the screen of the inverter has gone completely blank. The inverter is shut down completely, so there's no risk of, uh, of an electric shock or anything inside the inverter here. Now we have the little button battery sitting up here. What I recommend you do is grab long nose pliers on the right hand side of the battery and just lift that side of the battery up and then you should be able to slot it straight out like so. Then we want to grab our new battery and grab that on the side with the pliers again and what we want to do is hold the right side up push it in then it should slot down and sit nice and square and flat so we slide it in like so and so that's in there slotted in nicely now one thing you do have to make sure of is that the little clip on top that sits on top of the battery is actually making contact with the battery. If it's not, it, the uh, inverter is going to think that there's no battery there still. So that's all in there properly now. We can put our cover back on and restart the inverter. And so the startup procedure is nowhere near as important as a shutdown procedure. As long as you turn everything back on, then we're all good. So I'm just going to put the DC on and the AC on there and just finish closing up the inverter. Now the inverter will take a couple of minutes just to start up. All right, so the inverter is just starting up here. You can hear the relays clicking in, it's testing the relays. Okay, and the green light's on constant, so it's all operational now. So if we go through, it still comes up with a battery low message. What we need to do is actually reset the time and date on the inverter to make that go away. What we do to, do, to uh, update the time and date is we press the escape button on the inverter, we want to go down to the to settings menu, so we'll press the down button, get to settings, press enter. The password uh, is the generic one anyway, is 0000, so just 00, press enter on each one, and get all the way through. Then we want to scroll down till we see time. Press enter on time, and we just have to set the time to the current time. And date. And year. Okay, press enter on all that. And then we should be able to press escape. 
go out of that and then we, we've got inverter okay and the time and date on the inverter. So the battery on the inverter has been replaced, the time and date has been reset and you're all good to go again. Thanks for watching this video, I hope it's been helpful for you.